What's going on, everybody? Sparky Nights and I want to come at you another video. Coming at you with my Week 7 Eagles versus Panthers matchup. Um, Eagles, of course, coming off a Week 6 um, Thursday night football victory over the New York Giants. Carolina Panthers are coming to this game limping. They, they lost their um, previous game um, in Week 6. Um, this game is very, very important. Right now, the Eagles are just at 500 with a 3 and 3 record. Right now, we have the Dallas Cowboys and Washington Redskins right now who are, you no, know, uh, who, you know, who are right now slightly above us in the in the division standing. Those two teams will play um, in Week Seven as, as well. This game right here um, is the return of Tory Smith. Tory Smith coming back to Philadelphia. He obviously spent last year with us, uh, helped us win a Super Bowl, our first Super Bowl in franchise history. You know, and now this is going to be a very emotional return for him to Philadelphia after. You no, know, um, after being traded last offseason, um, the Eagles, uh, we still have um, Darren Sproles, who's going to be out again, for what I'm hearing. You know, Darren Sproles, I love the guy. I always will love the guy, man, and thank him for the memories that he's given this team. But I think it's becoming pretty obvious right now that Father Tom is catching up with him, and he's just not capable of playing a full season anymore. I, I, I hate to say that, but that's the way it looks. It looks like his, you know, that. Father Tom is just catching up with him. He can't play a full season anymore. Um, Jason Peters, another guy who Father Tom is catching up with. For what I hear, Jason Peters will not be, um, will probably be out this game too with his um, with his injury. Will not. Um, I don't think that's been 100 confirmed yet, but I think it's pretty. Safe. I think it's pretty good. I you know safe to say that he will probably be out of this game. Um, this game is gonna be plain and simple. Eagles got to get to Cam Newton. Cam Newton is one of those guys that. You no, know, can can a stand the plays with his legs. He's a very mobile quarterback, very big physical back um, uh, quarterback as well. You know, he's like six foot five, two forty, two hundred forty five pounds, and uh, he's one of those type of quarterbacks that the Eagles tend to struggle against. You know, the Russell Wilson type quarterbacks who can who can move around um, and stand the plays and stuff. And you know, he's one of those guys that um, you know Eagles do have trouble with. You know, a lot of times so. We got to make sure that we have Cam Newton um, accounted for at all times in this game. Cannot let Cam Newton um, stand plays, you know. We got we got to get to Cam Newton. We got to hit Cam Newton, hit him early, pressure him, and force him to make mistakes. If we do that, then we have a very good chance to win this game. Um, McCaffrey, yeah, McCaffrey, that running back McCaffrey, the guy is a very good receiving uh, running back out of the backfield, and he runs the ball very hard, so... We have the um, one of the best. I, I, I'm not quite sure we have. We still have number one rank because we did give give up a hundred something yards to Shaquan Barkley last week. But we're still in the, if we if we're not number one number one rank, we're still in the top. Though I know that for a fact, we're still in the top five. So we have a top we have a top run defense, and they have to show up. They have to clog up the holes. Um, don't let McCaffrey don't let McCaffrey get a burst and you know run through us. So gotta make sure that we have um, McCaffrey accounted for. Not just in the running game, but also in the receiver game. Because like I said, the guy is a great receiver out of the backfield. So, got to make sure that he's accounted for and we don't let him hurt us and take over the game. Um, um, Funches, their wide receiver, Fun uh, Funches. Um, they, they, Funches is one of, is Cam Newton's go-to guy. That's the guy that we have to make sure is accounted for. Um, if Jalen Mills, I would imagine it, it would be Jalen Mills who would be covering him. Do not... And I, I beg you, please do not buy on the fake. Don't do, do not on the double moves. Do not, do not buy on that Jalen Mills. Do your job, cover Funches. Do your job, cover Funches. Cause I don't want to see this as a game where Funches is just, um, just you no, know, just um, destroying you basically, man. Just burning the hell out of you like everybody else has done this year. Just about everybody's done this year. Make sure you have your man accounted for, and make sure that he's not um, able to take over the game. You know, so. Cover Funches. Um, like I said, Tory Smith. This is Tory Smith's um, return back to Philadelphia. Um, there, there could be a part there where Tory Smith wants to out. He wants to come to Philadelphia and he wants to play his very best to try to beat us. Don't let that happen. Tory Smith is still very is still a speedy guy. You know, he's still a guy who can um, who can stretch the field, and that's that's something that we have to make sure that we have accounted for. We have to make sure that we don't let Tory Smith. Uh, stretch the field and um and take over this game. You know he's a very like I said he's a fast guy, but we all but Darby Ronald Darby's a fast guy and you gotta make sure you cover Tory Smith. Don't let him get open in the middle of the field. Do not let him stretch the field deep downfield. Secondary's gotta show up. Um, 
Pass rush, like I said, pass rush. Got to get to Cam Newton. Got to hit Cam Newton. Um, put pressure in his face. Put pressure in Cam Newton's face, forcing him to make mistakes. That will help. That will help a lot with the secondary. And speaking of the secondary, like I was just speaking about him. Um, um, speaking of the secondary, this, this is going to be um, Rasul Douglas starting at safety, which I'm looking so forward to. I've, I've been saying for the longest, man, that Rasul Douglas is. is um, I think I think this kid can thrive as a safety in the NFL. I really do. He's not the fastest of guys, but he um he's a hard you know he's a he's a he he's, he he plays hard, man. He led his last year of college football. Um, he led he led in interceptions, the nation of interceptions. The guy may not be the fastest, but he he plays very hard, man. And he's an absolute ball hawk, an absolute ball hawk. And I'm looking. I think you know with him not being the fastest of guys, I think he could really thrive at the safety position. So I'm looking very forward to seeing him at the safety position. Um, you know, starting this game. That that, that should be a lot of fun to watch. Um, offensively, gotta continue what we was doing last week, man. Offensively, I was very imp I was very pleased with our um offensive production in that game against the um the Giants last week. The offensive line played much better. Um, offensive line played a whole lot better. Um, no, they, they did not let they did not let um, a lot of pressure get to Carson Wentz. So I was very very happy about that. No, they they played very well in that game. So offensive line um, built off of what happened last week against the Giants, man, and knowing and just just continue to build off of that and get better each week and play like the offensive line that we know you guys are capable of. Protect Carson Wentz, our franchise quarterback who came back from an injury, uh, for ACL injury. Protect him. Um, each game get better with your protection of Carson Wentz. I can't stress that enough. Protect Carson Wentz. Give him time to find receivers downfield. Um, Dallas Goddard tight end. You no know, Zach Ertz, of course. Those guys we need you guys to play well this game. Um, we're going against probably the best linebacker in the game right now, Luke Kinkley on the on the Panthers defense. You know, Luke Kinkley is one of the best in the game right now. Uh, we need our tight ends to really help. You know. Um, you know, take some of that pressure that Kinkley and that defense is gonna bring to um, Carson Wentz. Um, yeah, we, we definitely, we definitely need our tight ends to get involved. We need the offensive line to block for Carson Wentz. That's that's very important. Block for Carson Wentz. Open up those running lanes. Corey Clement. Um, yeah, Corey Clement. Um, Wendell Smallwood. Um, Adams. Those guys, man. Give those guys some lanes to run. Give them some lanes so they can um, they can exploit this defensive line. You know, so protect. Like I said. Protect Carson Wentz. Open up, you no, know, open up some holes for these running backs to find some open, some open running lanes. And if we do that, man, then this, this is definitely a game that we, I could definitely see us winning. Um, I told you guys in, in my schedule prediction video, I pick it, I'm still picking against the Eagles right now because, yeah, while it was great and encouraging to see what they did against the Giants, it's still the New York Giants, man. And this Eagles team, I'm, I'm just not quite sure exactly what Eagles team I'm, I'm going to get each week. Like last year, I was very confident picking them to win every game because I felt very confident that this team was going to show up and at least battle and play each game. But right now, I, I still cannot pick them to win this game. Right now, I'm picking up. I'm picking the Carolina Panthers to win this game by a score of 28 to 25. 28 to 25 is my schedule. Is my not schedule? My score prediction. 28 25 Panthers. I'm crossing my fingers and hoping, of course, that I'm that I'm wrong on that. I'm hoping the Eagles come and build off that build off that win against the Giants last week, and go on the winning streak. That's my hope. They did it last year, um, obviously after the beating the Giants in Week Three. My hope is they 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 repeat. You know, history repeats itself, and they they take this as motivation and and um, build off of it and go into Week Seven and get the W. That's my hope. But just for right now, I'm gonna pick the Panthers to win this game with the hope that obviously it, it turns out the complete opposite way. Um, Malcolm Jenkins, of course. Malcolm Jenkins. Uh, Malcolm Jenkins. I, I don't have anything bad to say about Jenkins. Jenkins has been balling out all year. Jenkins has been balling out. I know he's gonna come out here. He's gonna play his ass off, play well. Um, our kicker, our kicking game. Um, yeah, we the kicking games. Um, the kicking games gotta be consistent, man. Gotta be consistent with the kicking. Uh, make make these kicks. Um, all points are very very important, man. Make, make these kicks and you know be as accurate as we possibly can with the kicking, you know. So that's definitely very, very important. The kicking game needs to be on point. Obviously, punting gotta be on point as well. Um, I know the linebackers, Jordan Hicks, Nigel Brown, those guys. I know those guys gonna show up and play because they've been balling out, they've been balling all year, we're playing hard all year. I know those guys gonna play they're gonna show up to play very and they're gonna play well. Um yeah, so 
Um, plain and simple, we, we gotta make sure Cam Newton is pressured. Gotta hit Cam Newton early and put in, um, you know, gotta hit Cam Newton, force him to make mistakes. Don't let Funches or Torrey Smith take over this game. Greg Olson, forgot to mention Greg Olson, that tight end. No, do not let Greg Olson, um, no, do not let Greg Olson get open in the middle of the field. And Cam Newton loves to hit this guy, man, and especially in the, in the uh, middle of the field, man. So, gotta make sure that Greg Olson is covered. Gotta make sure he's covered. Um, Play and simple is all about team, man. The team has got to, everybody, everybody on this team has got to do their job, got to show up and be ready to play. If that happens, then I can see us win this game. Um, my hope is that we see the Eagles team that we saw last week against the Giants, hoping that we see that team show up today and they just take they took that win as motivation and they um, and they and, and they turn everything around this season. That's definitely my hope. That's definitely it. That definitely is my hope. But yeah, protect Carson Wentz. Open the running lanes. Uh, yeah, open the running lanes. Uh, our receiver core, um, receiver core play a lot better. Uh, Alshon Jeffrey balled out as usual. Um, uh, Matthews, Matthews played pretty well overall. He had some very key first downs for us in that game. Some very big first down, you know, on third and longs that he that he caught. So need need him to continue to contribute. Need Nelson Aguilar out of the slot. We definitely need Nelson Aguilar to contribute um, to this team. You know, go out there and help help us get this W, Nelson. Um, but yeah, right now I'm just picking the, the Panthers to win this game. But my hope is that, of course, that I'm wrong on that. But we'll have to see you on Sunday. Um, it's all about what these players do on the field, and I'm and I'm hoping that they do they come out and ready to play on Sunday. But we we'll, we'll see. But there you go, guys. That's my preview for the Carolina Panthers versus Philadelphia Eagles Week Seven matchup. Let me know what you think in the comment section. Um, subscribe if you're new. Like, comment. And, yeah, tell me what you think, man. But as always, fly, eagle, fly, go birds. Spunky Nights 91 is out. Peace.